Greetings and salutations, everyone. Crimson Nero here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we took out all of Team Rocket that were lo all the Team Rocket uh, grunts and the boss that were located underneath of the game quarter here at Celadon City. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the prizes because between episodes, um, well, not uh, before we went into the game corner to stop Team Rocket, I actually did a lot of gambling and uh, got a lot of jackpots, so I got a lot of coins. So, hey, let's see what prizes we got here. They are selling Pokemon here. <sighs> Such a terrible misdeed. You know what? I shall free these Pokemon! That that's that's just insert insert that as the as the story because that that is what I was out to do. I I saved this city from the tyranny that was Team Rocket, and I freed their captured Pokemon. And one of them just happened to take a liking to me, actually, a Scyther. And I'm going to name him after another person that is related to Scythes. Especially because a certain game that, well, he's in this series actually, but he's not actually going to be in the next game. Another Scythe user from Guilty Gear. Everyone, meet Testament. There, I have free. Oh, I have freed the Pokemon that were held captive here. However, they uh, just decided to still sell other things too. Let's see, we also have Smoke Balls, um, Miracle Seeds, Charcoal, Mystic Water, and Yellow Flutes, as well as some TMs. I think some of them are uh, like Ice Beam and Flamethrower and stuff like that. I might come back and buy a few of those later, but, for, but the biggest thing right now is that we have our new Buddy Testament in our party. Everyone say hello to Testament. That is actually very fitting that he has a calm nature, because Testament in Guilty Gear is actually very calm. Cool. Alright. Awesome. Testament, welcome to the party, bro. Also, I'm going to do something I probably should have done a while ago. I'm using uh, one of our Moonstones on Inigo. And thus, Inigo is now evolving into the third and final stage of evolution for the Nidoran, uh, for the Nidoran male line. And Inigo is now a Nido King. Excellent. Fantastic. Alright, now the next thing that I want to do is that with the new Sylph Scope that we just obtained, it said that it has the power to see ghosts. And there's been a lot of activity here in Lavender Town involving ghosts and other mysterious things, as well as some rumors about Team Rocket being here as well. Hmm. Perhaps those remnants that, I'm uh, perhaps those that got away after the Celadon City incidents came here and are now causing havoc among all the citizens of uh, of Lavender Town. I'm seeing a problem here. All right, Pokemon Tower. This is a place for the dead of Pokemon. And right, this is a place for dead Pokemon to be buried. This is a grave site for Pokemon. I will try my best to not mess around with the dead. But, wait, is that... That is who I think it is. Gary? Hey, Nero! What brings you here? Is your Pokemon dead? Uh, no, that's actually really rude of you to say. Hey, it's alive! I can at least make them faint! Let's go! Gary, I think you are completely mistaken about a lot of things, actually. 
But look, look at his trainer sprite. He just doesn't even care. He's like, ha, whatever. I'm the best, man. I don't even care about any of that. All right, Testament. Let's show him what we got. Nice critical hit to start everything off. And... Oh... Another critical hit. Awesome. Keep it up, Testament. Hopefully I can make this Pidgeotto faint. Oh, jeez. This is going to be... Ah, oh, no! Oh, I'm sorry, Testament. Your, fir your first battle, and I couldn't do things properly. I apologize greatly, man. I am so sorry. Maybe I should have trained him up a little bit, but I guess that's kind of why we're here as well. Seriously, I was... If only... If only that quick attack hadn't landed. Don't worry, Testament. You will come back stronger than ever before. Then again, it does kind of follow up the, uh, the Guilty Gear uh, timeline because, I mean, Testament in uh, Guilty Gear 1 actually lost to the main character soul bad guy after reviving justice but yeah that's that's completely different um, yeah actually that probably wasn't exactly the best of ideas because water type versus a ground type yeah actually uh, Inigo now has a uh, ground type sub uh, ground subtype I can formulate sentences. Critical hit on Thrash, but I don't care because Poison Point is awesome. Don't worry, soon enough Testament will actually be just as strong as everyone else in the party. Ah, yes. You are confused because of the fatigue of using moves like Thrash and Pedal Dance and other moves like that. Level 38. Awesome. Kadabra. I'm going to bring in Leviathan. So then I can just use Bite. Let's see. Growlithe. I can just keep... I can just keep Leviathan in here and just use a water gun to finish you off. Very cool. What, you stinker? I took it easy on you, too! No, you weren't. How's your Pokedex coming? I just caught a Cubone. I can't find the bigger Marowak. Where could they be? I bet they aren't. I, I bet there aren't any left. Well, I better get going. I've got a lot to accomplish. Unlike you, excuse you. I just took down part of a criminal syndicate. Smell you later. One of these days, Gary, you will actually respect me as a friend, rival, and trainer. But for right now, you are still a stuck-up brat. And that is why we love him. Alright, Testament, I apologize greatly. Let's get you healed up, buddy. Alright, back inside Pokemon Tower. Now that Gary is gone, let's go ahead and see what's going on here. Hello. Even we could not identify the wayward ghosts. A sylphscope might be able to unmask them. How convenient that I have one. Ooh, it's all foggy in here. Guys, when did this suddenly become Silent Hill? 
An escape rope. Beautiful. Oh, 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 oh. Generic ghost noises. Channeler Hope. Ooh, a ghastly. All right, Testament, let's show them what we got. Luckily, because Testament has Pursuit, it's going to be super effective against all these ghost types that we're going to be encountering. Actually, funny note about the ghost type is that in Generation 1, which was uh, Kanto, the place that we're in now, the Ghastly line were the only ghost type Pokemon. So technically, we only had three different ghost types. And they had an entire type until I am for themselves. But now in Generation 6, there are a ton more ghost types, and they are all really awesome. Hey, we saved her. Awesome. Uh, what did I just do? Oh, I guess I just have to go down here then. This makes sense. Be gone, malevolent spirits! Another ghastly. No problem. Just keep doing what you're doing, Testament. It's cool, man. Excellent. Good job, buddy. So all of these channelers are possessed. Well, this is a problem. Well, it's a good thing that we're actually helping them out, actually. Actually, that is not what I want to do. I want to go do summary. I'm going to switch focus energy and pursuit because then I can just uh, use the A button rather than having to go to the left and then press the A button. <laughs> uh, must be one of those malevolent spirits. I really hope that the confusion doesn't really work on Testament and that he fights through it. Come on, come on, buddy. Come on, Testament. Ah. And Nightshade, jeez. Ghastly use Nightshade. Throws out the NES cart of mine cartridge of Nightshade. <laughs> But wait, that's something completely different, actually. Whoopsie! Yep, all of them are possessed. They have no recollection of what's going on. Alright. Be cursed with us! Um, I don't really want to. All right, Testament, let's go. Nice, nice. Uh-oh. Another ghastly. Um I'm actually going to switch out to Leviathan here because I don't want that curse to be affecting Testament. Curse is a move that has two different properties depending on what type you are. If you are anything but a ghost type, all you do is that you increase certain stats and decrease other stats. But if you are a ghost type and you're using uh, and you're using curse, you actually half your HP, uh, like literally take off half of your HP regardless of how much you have left, and then you um, you inflict a curse on your opponent. Beat me not. Um, once you inflict the curse on your opponent, they then take gradual damage, kind of like poison, but it does more damage. Alright. Continue with the pursuit of happiness.
Come on, Testament. Yeah! Good job. Good job, boy. Good job, buddy. That's my boy! Wing attack. Okay, that will be good. Um, I will get rid of focus energy. Yeah, I know that it increases the critical hit ratio, but honestly, I probably won't even end up using it, so... Besides, if I know Scyther's move pool well enough, then... Scyther will probably end up... Or, Testament will probably end up getting the move Slash, which is very... which has a very high critical hit rate. A Ghastly! Mm-hmm. Oh no, curse! But it... it took itself out. Man, we haven't been in any random encounters in a while. It's mainly just been trainer battles since ever since we got into Celadon. Ghost! No! Man, I feel like the Ghostbusters right now. I think I may have just inadvertently just named the title of the episode, actually. <laughs> Come on, Testament. Ah! Sad face. And another Nightshade. Come on, buddy, survive. Yeah, good job, good job. Awesome. All right, just gonna grab this little doohickey. An awakening. Well, that'll be good in case one of my Pokemon falls asleep. Let's see, is there anyone or anything up here? Well, a random encounter, that's for sure. Awesome. One hit KO. Alright, I don't believe there's anything else around here, so next floor, please. Ooh. I'm going to go over there to get things. You shall join us. Um... I will join you for tea, but I won't join you in the afterlife. Cause no, not not yet. Not I. I don't want that to happen for a long time. Ah, sorry, Testament buddy. Come, child. I have purified this space. You can rest here. I have entered the purified and protected zone. And all my Pokemon were healed. Yay. And I got a cleanse tag. Excellent. It's like going to a Pokemon Center, but I don't have to. Zombies! Man, these ghastly just love to want to confuse Testament. 
Good news is I don't have to run all the way back to uh, the Pokemon Steiner just to get healed, which is very nice. Because Testament needs all the experience he can get. All right. And I got a nugget. Uh. More Gastlys. And more Nightshades. Kind of wish that they would all just use Curse. So then that they would just get rid of themselves. And also so that I don't have to take damage. Yay, Testament is growing in levels. But he's, what, 10 levels below everyone else? Yeah. Aw, Testament. Don't worry, we shall make you strong. Strong and powerful. Give me your all. Uh, okay. Listen, I don't, I don't know what you want, but I'm not giving you any of it. I mean, I, the only thing I will actually give you is help. I can give you a lot of that, or at least as much of it as I can, but, uh, yeah, I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna help you, and then that'll be it, and I won't give you anything else. Excellent. Alrighty. Items. X accuracy. Oh, and a random encounter. Oh, a ghastly. What a pleasant surprise. Hello. Give me blood. Um, do I need to repeat what I just said to your friend downstairs? Cause I I will give you help, but anything other than that, I'm not giving you at all. I, I don't I don't think you need my blood. I mean, e even if you were a vampire, I still will not give you my blood. I'm sorry. I played a lot of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, but I'm still not gonna give you blood, cause. I mean, like, I, I guess I could, like, donate my blood to, like, a blood bank or something, but I don't think they have them in Pokemon, so, yeah, you're kind of out of luck. Then again, it is it is really just the, uh, the, the malevolent spirit that is causing this to happen. Unfortunately... Curse does not work if the Pokemon I have it the Pokemon that you're fighting is already cursed. Like like you just saw. Alright, another ghastly. Alright. Spite. Yep, one HP. Good job. Good job, Testament! And a level up. Good job. Good job, buddy. I'm gonna go back downstairs and get healed up. Cool. Alright, next up. <laughs> uh Man, these spirits really do mess with your head. I apologize to all of you channelers and to all of you benevolent spirits. I'm sure you're actually very nice when you I when I get to know you, however 
I'm just going to do some exorcism right now and just be done with this. We can all be friends later, but just for right now, I have to save the little- I have to save the minds, bodies, souls, and lives of all these channelers. And all these spirits will have to go off back to the spirit realm, or to the afterlife, to the second- to the second world. And we shall be done with this. Hello. Just more, more unin, unintelligible groans. And with that comes more Gastlies, of course. Eh, confuse Ray. List sigh. Nice. Good job, Testament. Alrighty. I'm actually gonna head back down and get healed. But first, random encounter. Ooh, a Q-bone. I'm gonna get out of here, actually. But first... Random encounter. The reason why I actually am trying to get into random encounters is because, yes, I actually do want to capture a ghastly. But I specifically want get I my ghastly to be male, just because it works out with the name that I want to give, uh, that I want to give him, like this one. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Hopefully, just won't use curse and we'll be testament, buddy. No. I know I'm dragging things out here in this episode, but I really want to get a Ghastly. I'll just run from these battles until I can get a, a Ghastly. Hey! Let's go with a wing attack, actually. Ah! Sigh. Oh no, more Q bones. Do not harm the Q bones. I will get rid of any evil spirits, but I will not. And I, uh, what am I saying? Um, I will get rid of evil spirits, but I will not harm any living creatures in this place. This is a place for those who have departed from this world. I shall respect them and keep them safe in the afterlife. But those who still have a chance on this earth, I will protect. Come on, I just want one male ghastly. One male ghastly. One that I can capture and then name and he shall be our, in our party and be good friends with us. Ooh, a haunter. Kinda wish you were male. Cause that would be actually pretty cool. Oh my goodness, all these ghastlies! Come on, just give me a male one. That's all I want. That's all I want! Just one that shall be our friend. You know, I'm gonna... I'm gonna take this one out, actually. Just cause it might help jumble up the gender of the next one. 
uh, just due to a random number generator. It's not, I, like, like I said, it's not that I don't want a female Ghastly, because gender really doesn't have anything to do with the actual stats of a Pokemon, but just overall, I, I kind of just want a male Ghastly, just because, like I said, I have a name idea for it, and I just, that's really what it comes down to. If this goes on for just a few, like, more, just a little bit more, then I'll just cut. Aha! I found you. I'm just going to actually throw a Pokeball at it right away, just so I don't have to worry about KOing it. Ah. Well, at least this one knows Nightshade. That would be good. I kind of wish it uh, used Curse on me, though. Ah. It also knows Lick. Cool. Ah, oh, come on! You are very stubborn there, Ghastly. Come on. Yeah, buddy! And we have our fifth member of our party, our new buddy, Ghastly. A being that exists as a thin gas. It can topple an Indian elephant by enveloping the prey in two seconds. Whoa. I am going to name you, friend. Your name shall be Haseo, the Reaper. Excellent. All right. So, with all of that taken care of, we're getting very close to the top of Pokemon Tower, and we even have two new buddies with us, Haseo and Testament. It's nice to have you on the team, guys. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to working with you in the future. All right. So, in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red, we're going to continue up to the top of Pokemon Tower and find out what is going on here in Lavender Town. I'm Crimson Nero. Thank you very much for watching this episode. And until next time, everyone, fare thee well.